okay let's get a start demo first so this is one website which is I host in in Google Firebase see this is a default domain okay which is provide Google Firebase and if you scroll down this is a very nice website look feel is good okay and uh, not like that you can deploy your deploy and host any website from in here like see there's another URL okay another website this is a free CSS template which is give us to you know any default template right so whatever template it's match for you in your business perspective or your learning perspective whatever you can choose over here I choose this one so you can choose whatever you can just use download and you can just your deploy in your Google Firebase okay so let's just start how we can achieve these things okay so before proceeding this one okay so I'm especially recommend to you go to my channel okay so this is my uh, YouTube channel okay so dot net real world board example here I just create one fi Google Firebase hosting uh, session okay here I just given you know deep details so I am especially recommend to you please watch this one before proceeding this one okay okay now what is the first step so I'll telling you step by step again okay this is first step you have to install node.js okay uh, you have to download and install okay I'm not going to do that because it's a very simple step second one you have to install your firebase tools okay open command prompt okay let me zoom in and then hit one command npm installed globally and then firebase tools okay let me zoom in so this command you need to fire so that you have to install that firebase tools okay for this deployment so let me install that okay once it's done you can check uh, your version like fire base version okay see it is there that means it's properly installed so let me clear this console uh, yeah this command prompt okay then what you need to do you have to just log in okay so what is that command fire base login you have to log in so once you log in so it will ask you right see this is asking to you login so what you need to do it is allow firebase to the collection emulator use this error reporting no you just had the no then okay it will redirect to your you know, login page okay so whatever you login uh, you can just log in your credential okay so I have login with this user so you can log in here with your user and also you have to allow okay this is done see this is done then go back to your console now see you have to see this is successful login okay let me clear one more time now uh, before deploy okay so you need to one website so how we can get this website so I already show in the demo so this is one uh, one site where you can get this your template okay so if you are not familiar with this you know designer and creating website so you have to go this website okay uh, it is for technical and non-technical both okay so you can choose any websites these all of the free okay so you can just download the one of them okay and you can just uh, install uh, you can modify as well okay so I will take this one so once I click this one okay so see it is using uh, such kind of things it is using HTML5 responsive column dark light okay and also using bootstrap e-commerce jewelers jQuery responsive okay so if you want to see how this look like so you can click live demo as well it will show you you over here so what is look like see it is this website look like this okay also if you click here so you'll be able to see that uh, navigations and nav bar as well okay so once you see okay this is suitable for you you can just download over here I just already download so let me open that folder okay so if I go to download see I already download as a zip folder this one let me zoom in so this is that uh, template what I am doing I just right click and then extract all once you extract you will get this 
extracted file okay so now what you need to do you can just take only this folder because inside this is a main folder inside we have all the files okay it's have a css js images fonts everything also all the pages so you can make sure locally first your application is working perfectly or not okay so what you can do actually index html is the main file on every website so you can just open double click you will see this is your url in local local running url okay so you can just change here here see it is changing as well and also if you go to here so it will go to main page as well so see that means it's perfectly download successfully and it is running perfectly fine in locally okay so what is the next step so next step is just copy this folder okay copy this folder and go to your other than c drive go to any d drive okay so that make sure uh, that is there no issue in permissions okay so you can go any hosting here okay and it take you just create any folder okay and then you can just paste it over here okay i already pasted it over here okay so see this is same uh, okay let me let me delete that okay so that i can show you in the from scratch okay so now i just paste it over here see this is my all the folders and files right so that's that is sufficient for that template download and extract and over here okay now what is next step next step is go to your console okay what you need to do you need to fire one more command so what is your command so first you have to just you know redirect you have to go to this folder actually okay so let me go to directly over here as well and also yeah i can go to directly over here so cmd and then hit enter so you will get your directory has changed see its command prompt is open directly with the changing your directory okay so this is my directory that is fine and now also i can show you see this all the files and folders okay so let me clear and let me little bit zoom for you now what need to do i need to fire one more command fire waste okay in it initialize okay once i hit enter it will actually try to uh, set up your hosting environment okay so let me it, it is just showing first are you ready for this proceed yes okay now it is uh, giving some options okay so what you need to choose over here you need to choose hosting this one okay let me zoom in for you you have to choose this one hosting configuration file firebase hosting okay and you just you know tab press the tab bar so you will get this star okay and then hit enter okay now it's asking to use an existing project or create a new one okay so in last session i just use this existing project which is you can just create you can go to your firebase login okay and then you can just add a new project and you can create your project over here okay once you create a, or your project you will get you can choose this existing uh, options and then if you choose this existing option you will see that project name okay but in this session i will show you i will just create and from the new okay i will not going to create directly the uh, firebase uh, ui okay so what i will do i'll just create a new create a new okay it is asking to uh, specify the unique project id okay so you have to specify the name like for example this is my jeweler app okay and that hit enter now it is asking to what would you like to call your projects okay so you just keep it default nothing you have to mention over it just hit enter okay now it's saying it is just trying to create okay so your project will be create also once it is creating you can able to see over here as well that i will show you okay now see this project has been created okay hosting setup and now your project name would be yeah this is my jewelers app you can make sure uh, just refresh your console you will able to see your name as well okay see this one has been created just now 
okay now what you need to do is just asking to uh, do you want to use your public directory yes you can just hit enter yes and then configuration single page app yes and then set up google uh, github no this time no okay because see this option github for you know uh, for that if your repository in this github so github can any changes on github directly uh, will deploy on firebase option so that also i'll show you in upcoming session but yeah as of now you have to just mention no okay so this is done if you go to your folder see apart from your folder actually see this is my, our uh, stuff our project related stuff but yeah uh, this one is has been created this one created this one created and this this four file has been created okay for this firebase hosting okay now what you need to do nothing you have to do uh, you can just check one thing okay so after that what you need to do you need to just change you need to just host in your local and you can check okay whatever is configuration ready that is working fine or not okay so how we can do that again firebase and then serve okay hit this uh, this uh, command okay one okay so firebase command is wrong so firebase and then serve make sure your firebase command is correct okay now see it is trying to hosting in local now see it's listening point over here once you click okay it is running so let me open now see you will getting this error so this is a very common error so on firebase so that we will fix i'll show you this because might be you will face this issue so how you you can just fix this one okay so that's why i'm showing you okay so what you need to do just control c and clear this one okay and go to your folder just because you know your public folder is created and in this public folder just uh, it's just keep it on firebase configuration okay just because this error is happening okay so what you need to do you nothing worry about that you can just copy all your project related stuff okay and this one this one this one and this one okay keep only your project related stuff and move it to in public folder okay so move it to your public folder and replace okay only these four files and folder should be over here in your main folder okay public folder firebase src github and firebase json okay that is done now again just try to firebase serve okay so once you serve okay i mistakenly adding uh, that underscore right so firebase serve okay this is my typo mistake okay so now it will running in your local again so, uh, so that we can make sure our project properly running or not okay so let me open now see this time it is hosting your local host 500 5000 and your application is running perfectly okay now this is then final step control c cls okay and then fire base deploy okay so this is main command actually which will deploy your application to firebase google firebase okay so before that you have to make sure it locally it is working fine okay so once hit enter it will start to deploy in here okay so let me complete that see it is starting it's found 34 files in public folder and uploaded version finalized and release complete okay now it is completed okay deploy completed let me show you deploy complete and you can get this hosting url okay so this is default domain which is provide google firebase okay let me open this one so you will get your website now see your website is hosting in our google firebase okay so if you change anything it should work if you change to here it should work okay if you go to home page it is a home page okay now go to over here go to uh, firebase console ui and then click your project this is your project which is just deploy 
okay and go to build hosting you are able to see that uh, your hosting stuff as well see see this is your domains okay this two dom default domains provide by google okay and now you can just open you will see your hosting environment i mean your application okay so this is sufficient for this session okay so in next session actually we'll learn uh, how we can add that custom domain okay so that this is a default domain but you, if do you have any do you purchase any your domain so you can just convert to default domain to your domain okay that we'll do in next session so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share